Thanks, Mark. First, it was Lakewood, Lorraine, and a number of other communities running out of the salt needed to clear the roads. Some have been able to restock their supplies, but is it enough? Well, now another city is facing a severe shortage as what could be the biggest snowstorm of the season moves in. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska live in Rocky River on your side today. Paul, what's their plan if they run out of salt? Well, Chris Lee and everyone, they're already mixing in cinders or gravels like they did 50 years ago. They're mixing that in with the rock salt they have remaining, and not a lot of it at intersections and inclines only. They're not doing the side streets, which are really ice covered, which is unusual for a lot of these towns. They pride themselves on doing a good job, but they don't even have enough salt to do it. Meanwhile, one county official in Geauga County tonight says trying to keep these roads safe without rock salt becoming a crisis situation. You can see how icy the roads are. And you can hear how icy roads sound. We go to church in Lakewood, so the streets there have been horrible. Rocky River resident Carlene Kruger says cars are sliding around right in front of her house, where it's so icy, I could easily do this running slide in the middle of Riverwood Avenue. Oh, they're, they're sliding. Uh, in particular, this is a real bad spot. The car's stopping from the side street there and the car's going straight through. Rocky River Safety Service Director Mary Kay Costello says Morton Salt has not been delivering rock salt. Morton promises the deliveries. They're just not being made in a timely fashion, and they're not being made as per our order. We're inside the middle of the Rocky River Salt Dome right now. Usually this place filled floor to ceiling with rock salt, but you can see it's looking pretty empty tonight. That's all they have left getting critically low on rock salt as this major winter storm bears down. Lakewood and Lorraine finally got rock salt delivered. Rocky River still waiting. Residents still concerned. Increase the risk of accidents and there's a lot of kids. This is a kid-friendly neighborhood and we have middle school right down the street. So I certainly hate to see someone get in an accident or a kid crossing the street and slip and fall. It certainly uh, presents the risks. Take caution and, and slow down. And I just talked with Russell Township uh, Trustee Gary Gabram over in Geauga County. Uh, he said they are 98% out of rock salt there. They have uh, a lot of country roads, hundreds of miles to cover. Very icy conditions. He said he had a state conference call with a lot of towns, but state officials got few answers. But again, I want to show you this. We showed you this at five. This looks like uh, wet concrete. It's not. It's textbook black ice. Hard to walk on. Even more difficult to drive on. Live today from Rocky River, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. All right. Hey, Paul, you mentioned Lorraine and Lakewood got some salt. How much did they end up getting? Uh, both of those cities got deliveries from Morton. Finally, after struggling for weeks with icy roads, they got over uh, 1,000 tons. Which those cities, which are quite larger, uh, may be good for one, one and a half snowstorms.